Metacarpal bones, Wikipedia article audio. In human anatomy, the metacarpal bones or metacarpus form the intermediate part of the skeletal hand located between the phalanges of the fingers and the carpal bones of the wrist which forms the connection to the forearm. The metacarpal bones are equivalent to the metatarsal bones in the foot. Structure Body Base Head Neck Articulations Insertions Clinical significance Congenital disorders Fracture Other animals History Etymology The metacarpals form a transverse arch to which the rigid row of distal carpal bones are fixed. The peripheral metacarpals form the sides of the cup of the palmar gutter and as they are brought together they deepen this concavity. The index metacarpal is the most firmly fixed, while the thumb metacarpal articulates with the trapezium and acts independently from the others. The middle metacarpals are tightly united to the carpus by intrinsic interlocking bone elements at their bases. The ring metacarpal is somewhat more mobile while the fifth metacarpal is semi-independent. Each metacarpal bone consists of a body or shaft, and two extremities, the head at the distal or digital end, and the base at the proximal or carpal end. The body is prismoid in form, and curved, so as to be convex in the longitudinal direction behind, concave in front. It presents three surfaces, medial, lateral, and dorsal. The base or carpal extremity is of a cuboidal form, and broader behind than in front, it articulates with the carpal bones and with the adjoining metacarpal bones, its dorsal and volar surfaces are rough, for the attachment of ligaments. The head or digital extremity presents an oblong surface markedly convex from before backward, less so transversely, and flattened from side to side, it articulates with the proximal phalanx. It is broader, and extends farther upward, on the volar than on the dorsal aspect, and is longer in the anteroposterior than in the transverse diameter. On either side of the head is a tubercle for the attachment of the collateral ligament of the metacarpophalangeal joint. The dorsal surface, broad and flat, supports the tendons of the extensor muscles. The volar surface is grooved in the middle line for the passage of the flexor tendons, and marked on either side by an articular eminence continuous with the terminal articular surface. The neck, or subcapital segment, is the transition zone between the body and the head. Besides the metacarpophalangeal joints, the metacarpal bones articulate by carpometacarpal joints as follows. Carpometacarpal joints of the left hand. Thumb on left. Carpometacarpal joints of the left hand. Thumb on left. Extensor carpi radialis longus slash brevis, both insert on the base of metacarpal 2, assist with wrist extension and radial flexion of the wrist. Extensor carpi ulnaris, inserts on the base of metacarpal V, extends and fixes wrist when digits are being flexed, assists with ulnar flexion of wrist. Abductor pollicis longus inserts on the trapezium and base of metacarpal eye, abducts thumb in frontal plane, extends thumb at carpometacarpal joint. Opponent's pollicis, inserts on metacarpal eye, flexes metacarpal eye to oppose the thumb to the fingertips. Opponent's digiti minimi, inserts on the medial surface of metacarpal V flexes metacarpal V at carpometacarpal joint when little finger is moved into opposition with tip of thumb, deepens palm of hand. Metacarpus Insertions are shown in red. 
Left hand, anterior view. Metacarpus. Insertions are shown in red. Left hand, posterior view. The fourth and fifth metacarpal bones are commonly blunted or shortened, in pseudohypoparathyroidism and pseudopsidohypoparathyroidism. A blunted fourth metacarpal, with normal fifth metacarpal, can signify Turner syndrome. Blunted metacarpals are a symptom of nevoid basal cell carcinoma syndrome. The neck of a metacarpal is a common location for a boxer's fracture. In four-legged animals, the metacarpals form part of the four feet, and are frequently reduced in number, appropriate to the number of toes. In digitigrade and ungulagrade animals, the metacarpals are greatly extended and strengthened, forming an additional segment to the limb, a feature that typically enhances the animal's speed. In both birds and bats, the metacarpals form part of the wing. The Greek physician Galen used to refer to the metacarpus as mu epsilon tau alpha caparopi iota omicron nu. The Latin form metacarpium more truly resembles its ancient Greek predecessor mu epsilon tau alpha caparopi iota omicron nu than metacarpus. Meta is Greek for beyond and carpal from ancient Greek kappa alpha rho pi. In anatomic Latin, adjectives like metacarpius, metacarpicus, metacarpius, metacarpius, metacarpianus, and metacarpalus can be found. The form metacarpius is more true to the later Greek form mu epsilon tau alpha kappa rho pi iota omicron. Metacarpalus as in Asa Metacarpalia in the current official Latin nomenclature, Terminologia Anatomica is a compound consisting of Latin and Greek part. The usage of such hybrids in anatomic Latin is disapproved by some. Metacarpus of the left hand Animation X-ray image of right hand with thumb on left The medial and lateral surfaces are concave, for the attachment of the interosseous muscles, and separated from one another by a prominent anterior ridge, the dorsal surface presents in its distal two-thirds a smooth, triangular, flattened area which is covered in by the tendons of the extensor muscles. This surface is bounded by two lines, which commence in small tubercles situated on either side of the digital extremity, and, passing upward, converge and meet some distance above the center of the bone and form a ridge which runs along the rest of the dorsal surface to the carpal extremity. This ridge separates two sloping surfaces for the attachment of the interossei dorsals, to the tubercles on the digital extremities are attached the collateral ligaments of the metacarpophalangeal joints. Multiple Fractures of the Metacarpals X-ray image of human infant left hand Microradiography of 8 weeks human embryo hand Right hand Deep dissection Anterior view Right hand Deep dissection Posterior view This article incorporates text in the public domain from page 227 of the 20th edition of Gray's Anatomy.